Some people want to settle the moon, start research stations, just all the basic stuff we take for granted that we're going to need to take with us when we go somewhere just kind of made how difficult and how much of a pain in the rear end every step of the process will be. There were two turning points for me. One was learning um, how little data we have on how human bodies respond to space and how not relevant the data we do have are for places like Mars. So like on the International Space Station, you're protected from radiation by the Earth's magnetosphere uh, and the essentially zero gravity that they experience while they're in free fall is different than the 40% gravity on Mars. But then the other thing was that the moon has like very little carbon and we're carbon-based life forms. And so to grow plants, we're going to need carbon. Zach noted that the 96 bags of urine and feces left behind by the Apollo astronauts are probably the most concentrated sources of carbon. You really regularly see articles in prominent publications that presumably have fact checkers that are just simply wrong. Like the carbon thing is a good example where this is like an absolute showstopper for a lot of things people talk about, like growing plants on the moon. You, you literally cannot do it. And and there's a similar thing with helium-3. It's all over the place that will mine helium-3 on the moon. There's a race with China and XYZ. And it's just like, it doesn't even pass the smell test. Like when you just run some very simple numbers, you can write it down on a napkin and convince yourself this is crazy. That, that's the kind of stuff that ended up like we turned us into space bastards where we just became skeptical of everything.